Hello, Bill speaking. Hey, Bill, it's Peter Baggett. How are you doing, bud? Good. How you doing, man? Good. It's, uh, I was looking and it's been, uh, since 2016, since we last spoke, when you performed here at the Pompano Beach Amphitheater. So it's been quite a while. It's good to hear your voice again. Oh, I remember Pompano, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great gig. Uh, we were just there uh, Saturday night with Foghat and, and Great White and Lita Ford doing a show. Oh, good. Yeah, definitely. So what's been going on since 2016? <laughs> I, I just fell asleep. I took a very strong pill and fell asleep, I think. No, a lot of stuff's gone on. The, you know, I'm, I'm working more than I worked in the old days, believe it or not. I've got more gigs than I can handle. We're, we're racing to, to, like, pack right now because we're going to go do this thing in Florida that you're coming to. And then right on the tail, right after the gig, we've got to draw suitcases in the car, drive to Miami, and get ready to board the uh, the rock and romance cruise thing, you know. And we're doing that for seven days, so it's kind of like... You know, it's kind of a little nerve wracking with this virus around, but you know, let's not talk too much about it. Exactly, I understand. Yeah. yeah, and actually, you're coming here this Friday night, which is Valentine's Day as well, February fourteenth, right. for the uh, Yacht Rock Valentine's Fling at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. And what's so great is there's just a, such a great ensemble, uh, you know, ensemble with you as well. I mean, we got um, Ambrosia headlining. We, uh, I guess you want to call them the headliners, but we have John Four Coley, uh, Stephen Bishop as well, and of course yourself, Peter Beckett. Um, everybody knows, you know, you from the band uh, Player back in the '70s, and and the great song "Baby Come Back." And I think that's too why I think you might be so busy is because we're hearing that song a lot now, you know, commercials or, or whatever. And because of Yacht Rock. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's just amazing, and it's and it's got to be amazing to you as well to look out in the audience uh, every time you do a show and you see the the different generations from people like myself who was born in 1970 and grew up on player music and other bands from that era. Well, the good thing is, there's like three generations at, at these gigs that we do now. It's, it's like the parents who are like our age and actually the grandparents that are our age. <laughs> and then you've got the children who are the mums and dads and they bring their kids. So it, you know, it's, it's a good audience. It's like the kids, the parents and the grandparents, which is great. And uh, you've worked with, uh, with these guys before? I've just done this for 10 years. I, I do this with Ambrosia like all the time uh, with this lineup and other lineups. Mm -hmm. I just played uh, the, the show in Palm Springs. The sh show is, is a venue and it's a beautiful venue. And uh, I did it with Al Stewart and Gary Wright oh, wow. and, John, and John Ford Coley and myself. And it was a, a really, really great gig. That was just the day before yesterday. So, um, and then I do this lineup and that, you know, it, there's always, one person different, but, um, you know, basically the same package. <laughs> it pop us in and pop us out, you know. I was, like act <laughs> <laughs> I was actually talking to uh, Burley Drummond of uh, Ambrosia two, two hours ago. Uh, we I'm talked. Just <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, I've known him and Mary for a few years now, just interviewing over the years, and just what a great group of uh, you know group of guys, and yeah. uh, it's got to be so amazing playing with them and traveling. And well, stuff. you know, Burley's playing with us too. Burley plays with my my band, Peter Beckett's player as well. Oh. And we're on this, and we're both on this cruise, the rock and romance cruise, in a few days, and he's going to have to work his butt off because he, I think he plays ninety minutes with us and then like goes straight on with them. <laughs> Oh my lord! Hey, good thing the bar is real close by, you know. <laughs> so, so do you enjoy doing these cruises? Uh, I usually do. You know, I, this particular one is great. I did it about uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. and um, uh, before that, I did a, a did a whole bunch of cruises um, with uh, Yacht Rock Review Band. You know, the the kind of band that's huge now. The yes, the, just like they're huge. They're probably the biggest cover band in, in the country. Yeah. And when they first started out, I, I started working with them and 
during those you know years we, we did about four of these rock cruises but it was a different cruise line mm-hmm. it was the, the Norwegian cruise line you know but I've done this one once before and it was real top draw it's, it's really nice you know and they got a lot of good people on this cruise they've got um, a cheap trick Todd Rungren uh, God I can't remember uh, just, they've got a whole list of you, you can look it up it's called yeah. the Rock and Romance Cruise it's sold out anyway so it doesn't matter yeah, but it sounds amazing, I tell you. Great. And and I think it, it just gives you and all the other bands such an opportunity to closely interact with your fans as well. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting because everybody's on the boat, you know, and everybody's walking around or in the restaurant or, you know, cafeteria <laughs> or whatever. So you're, you're constantly getting interrupted. <laughs> God, God forbid you go to you go to take a pee or something, you know, and somebody asks you for your autograph at that moment, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if it's happened. <laughs> yeah, really. Let me wash my hands uh, first. It really is fun, you know. It, it, it's, it's a lot. It, there's always – it's a big – freaking boat you know and there's like yeah. a show going on somewhere all the time two or three actually wow. in the different showrooms and so these people just they, they just walk from one show to the other for like you know it, it's a it's a go there come back cruise it's like three days there to Puerto Rico yeah. and three days back and, and I'm, I'm actually on both legs of, of the cruise so and so is Burley with Ambrosia so oh my lord but most people just go half you know sure now now as a singer when you're on tour doing shows uh, do you do anything to maintain your vocals no I just yeah. drink you just drink there you go perfect <laughs> <laughs> no, I was with Gary Wright the other day, and he's like chopping up ginger in his in his dressing room, and he's got all these juices and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, a couple of glasses of wine, I'm just I'm good to go. <laughs> Well, I, I, t- I tell you what, it's such a pleasure to speak with you, and I thank you so much for taking the time, Peter, out of your, your busy schedule to talk with Rock Band Reviews, and we're so excited to see you again. Like I said, last time we saw you was in 2016, so uh, it'll, it'll be good to see how you're doing, man. Yeah, I'm better than ever. Awesome. You're coming down, right? You're gonna... We're going to review the show, absolutely. So Excellent. if we can come back and say hi, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. All right, will do. I'll set it up with Eden. All right, but do it. Um, and thank you, thank you for this. And uh, I'll see you in a few days. We'll see you Friday, uh, my friend. Safe travels on the road. All right, Bill. Thank Cheers. you, buddy. Take care. Cheers, Bye-bye. mate. Bye bye.